are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about cleaning up any of that residue that you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up. If you're down and out and depressed, you're the one that made that mess. You're the only one that can clean it up. Okay, to remember yesterday is gone and we are not promised tomorrow. Now I'm going to go over that list that controls us all day long. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, <clears throat> enabling, people pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere. Then you have nothing but excuses, gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain, never having enough, being in a relationship with a man or a woman mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually abusing one another, and you may want to add to the list. Okay, today I want to talk about letting go completely, speak up with love, say what you mean, mean what you say, don't say it mean, and continue to be a living example for others to live, grow, and change also. Okay, this is powerful. Um, I had to use it in my own life, with my own children, with people that I love, and um, I had a major breakthrough. Really proud of everybody in my life, proud of my boys. Um, we support one another, we check in with one another, they do confession with me. I'm like their priest, uh, their, uh, and we go in the box, in the box is the phone, and whatever it is they need to confess, they tell me, they clean it up, they let it go, and they carry on. One of the things I did with my boys years ago was, mom can handle anything, don't lie to me. If you lie to me, we can't clean it up, we can't clean the mess up. Nothing you say to me will shock me. And I've probably done it myself. So um, it's beautiful to have that relationship. And um, they have come to me. They have, you know, they have told me things that no parent wants to hear. And again, I lived it in my own life. But I give them the freedom to say what it is that they need to say. And you parents out there and you grandparents out there, we are our children's God, whether we like it or not. And we need to be the living example. And we are their hope. We are their power. But we have to teach them that there's something much higher than who we are. Something much higher that they need to uh, focus on and live the highest level of integrity throughout the day. So today, I want you, whatever it is that's controlling you, control is our number one killer. So whatever it is, whatever it is you need to say to the person you need to let go of, tell them, say what you mean, mean what you say, don't say it mean, and then shut up. Say it one time. One of my character defects is I would keep saying it over and over and over again. I've learned less is better. Saying less is better. Say it once and shut up. Mean what you say, say it with love, and then hand it over to the universe and let God do the work, not you, because none of us are God. And when you put that energy out there, when you put your focus on whatever it is that you need to let go of, watch what happens. So today, who is it? What is it? What thing is it that you need to let go of? Trust that, trust the process. And um, if you need to write about it, but no longer let it control your head. No longer give it any more space in your head. No longer let it take any more of your energy. Let it go completely. No thing, no person, no child, nobody, no partner, 
no family member, no job, let it go. But if there's something you need to do to shut the head up, if there's an action you need to do, do it. And then let it go. And remember, balance, not too much of anything. Our kids, our partner, our play, our work, when we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect that you get in return. Remember the goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as go into the bathroom or else your head gets backed up. Remember, if you have an attitude today, remember be attitude, being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor, and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. We need those breakdowns to have the breakthroughs. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissists, your words mean nothing and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying by Michael Singer. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. If you're truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they're constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path. Trust the process. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace change. Discipline is freedom. The undisciplined mind is like an elephant. If left to blunder, out of control, it will wreak havoc. Confront the difficult while it's still easy. Accomplish the great tasks by a series of small acts. You must go through the darkest night in order to get to the infinite light. What we call darkness is really the blockage of light. Eventually you realize that you cannot actually hurt yourself when you go beyond your psychological limits. If you're willing to just stand at the edge and keep walking, you will go beyond. You used to pull back when it got uncomfortable. Now you can relax. It's okay to get uncomfortable. Go beyond where you were a minute ago by handling what's happening now. Imagine the peace that you could experience if you weren't constantly creating and defending your false self. Michael Singer. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to read a little part from my book. Okay, today, um, page 111, uh, daily inventory maintenance checkoff list. We are on number six. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated, needed, and loved. I'll read that one more time. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated, needed, and loved. Wow. This is, this is really um, a beautiful statement, a beautiful message. Um, and um, it's one that we take for granted. And one of the things that I did when I was uh, started my recovery, and it was a Christmas where I didn't have any money at all. I was just, just making it, paying all my bills, and um, well, I went downtown to get Christmas presents for the kids where the people that don't have any money got them each a present. And what I did was, I wrote everybody in my family, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, my mom, my dad, my brothers and my sisters, an individual card and wrote to each and every one of them what they mean to me. 
and I meant it from my heart and my soul. And um, it was powerful. I'll never forget my father-in-law. I just love my in-laws so much. And what sucks is when you get a divorce, you divorce the whole family. And it's very, very hard. But I loved him and my mother-in-law so much. I, I loved my in-laws. I was very lucky. And they loved me like I was their daughter. And he just bawled when he got that letter. He just, it was the best gift that I could have ever given him. He meant so much to me. I, I'm i emotional right now just thinking about it. He was the backup dad when um, my own father was um, giving him, me my tough love that I deserved and needed very much. And that is why I'm doing so well today because I have a lot of my father um, in me. I have, you know, like I said, my mom's compassion and my dad's balls and we do a lot of tough love and my father-in-law was the uh, equalizer to that love and um, they were just gifts in my life and um, the power and I every once in a while I'll write my children I'll get a card all my children um, Blaine, Joey, Rogan and my grandchildren I let them know and I always express what they mean to me and my husband I'll just be a giant eagle and get that wonderful feeling and want to get a special card for him for no reason to let him know how much he's appreciated, needed, and loved. And I tell you, don't assume that they know. We all need to hear it. I know for me, I need to hear it. We all need accolades here and there. We all need to know that what we're doing is making a difference. It is so important. It is so powerful. For So today, if you need to write a card, go to get a card, get a beautiful empty card with a beautiful picture and let the people, don't wait until they're sick or on their dying bed to know this. They need to know this now and the gift that you will give them. And not only will they feel wonderful, you will feel extra wonderful. And boy, what an incredible gift you could give to the people around you. And continue that practice. It's profound, it's powerful, and it's needed. Remember, work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts. What's controlling you? I accept today where I am powerless. I have control where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I could change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she is appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today. Be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. We need to be a priority to ourselves. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bail out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day you don't want to do to have a successful day. My two things are always getting up early, doing my podcast podcast, working out and keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my workshops and my books. If you want to um, reach me with my services, lifeandharmonyonline.com, leave your number. I'll go over my services. Remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says subscribe. 
please share it with everybody you love and respect. Start with podcast number one, number two, number three. Do it in order. Do it for 30 days, and you will say, wow, in one year, you will not recognize yourself. And remember, I want you to have a remarkable day today, and thank you for listening.